My name is uh, Eric Bendix. I'm with Georgia Spine and Orthopedics. Uh, I've been uh, in the community now for the last 15 years. Yeah, the path to becoming a doctor was a little bit of a windy one. My dad and I, we used to actually have to go up on our roof and fix the cedar shingles. One summer, my dad went up by himself and unfortunately came down and fell and broke his leg. And the orthopedic surgeon that actually ended up taking care of him, putting him back together, ended up becoming a family friend. And so over the years, I'd go visit from time to time. And this is back when that orthopedic surgeon was real young and early in his practice. This young doctor ends up becoming one of the world's preeminent spine surgeons. He's the uh, head doctor in the Texas Back Institute. So it's kind of funny, the, the little windy path that finally led me to being an orthopedic surgeon and with my subspecialty interest, which is spine, I'm gonna try to do the most conservative things, the least risky things first, and slowly move up the chain. If the time and the rest and the pills and the therapies aren't working, we may consider injections. If those aren't working, after all of those options have been exhausted, then you may need to consider surgery as a very last option. We actually do uh, replacements of the joints, artificial disc replacements, both for the neck and the low back. The awesome thing of that is that people recover faster and they do quite a bit better. Now, the vast majority of my patients are going home the same day. The most fulfilling thing for me is seeing a person, treating their problem, and then being able to say goodbye at some point because they're better. I don't, wanna, I don't want them to keep on coming to me. They got better things to be doing with their life, so my goal is to get them back into the game of life as quickly as possible.